What is going on fam? So we are actually at my dad's farm right now and I was gonna do this video kind of as like a vlog for you guys. Pretty much one video just on this topic. So my dad has had the thoughts of upgrading some equipment and getting rid of some equipment he doesn't need. Okay, so we're gonna go through a whole video about this and the reason I'm doing this is because I know there's a lot of people out there that really like farm equipment, machinery, stuff like that, that are watching my videos. And some of you may know somebody that's interested in some of this stuff. So he's gonna be selling a handful of things. All this stuff is paid for in cash, so he doesn't have to like, you know, pay off liens on any of this stuff. If anybody's interested in this, you can literally bring cash and it's ready to go. So um, let me go through this stuff one by one and show you what he's got and what he's asking for it. Keep in mind though, a lot of this stuff is dusty, but most of it is pretty darn clean equipment that if you just take a microfiber towel and you wipe it down real quick, which we're probably gonna do when we post pictures of it on Facebook Marketplace and track tiles and stuff like that, it's really nice equipment and he does not be on his equipment. It's, it's all great stuff. The first thing we have here is a 25 plus five gator built trailer. It's a gator made trailer and this thing is a tank. When he had this thing built, he had it basically built to haul way more than it's technically rated for. Here are some stickers here. It says 13.5, but uh, let's just say this. He has loaded this with way beyond that <laughs> many times. Uh, look at the framing construction of this thing. It is insane. I mean, these I-beams are freaking huge. These things are monsters. So if you're wanting a super heavy duty gooseneck trailer, it's got the big folding assist, uh, spring loaded assisted ramps. It's got these heavy duty wheels because you couldn't do a dually. And he was asking Gator Maid, um, hey, like I want a trailer that can haul crazy stupid amounts of weight, but I don't think legally I'm allowed to have a dually trailer if I don't have a dually truck for whatever weird hauling laws for the state of Indiana and wherever he was driving it. They said, okay, we've got you. We're gonna build something that's technically a 13,500 pound, something or another. And then it's just gonna be built to haul like freaking ridiculously more than that so that it fits your needs. So here's the trailer. The ramps still have all the spring loaded stuff on it and they flip down and up super easy. When I was 12, I could flip these back and forth for him and it was no problem. This thing he wants $10,000 for is his asking 10,000 OBO. So if you know anybody interested in a Gator made gooseneck 25 plus five, $10,000 or best offer is what he's asking for this. Keep in mind, these prices are slightly negotiable. He's just letting you know what he's wanting in a ballpark range. And then, you know, obviously the best offer on the equipment gets it. He's got a Kubota 3240 and I'm actually interested in buying a Kubota. I was actually asking him if I could buy his tractor off of him and then I was looking at some other equipment and you know whatnot and talking to him and he's like you'd honestly probably want to go just a little bit bigger just because for me personally I would rather have more horsepower than I think I need and I've used this tractor for the last oh man for the last eight years I've ran this thing and it's never had any issues and it's pretty much always done just fine. But I think I want something that's closer to 50 horse than 32 just for what I'm doing. And this tractor does all that stuff freaking great. I'm actually like blown away that this thing has withstood all the stuff that we've done with it, but it's, it's a fantastic little tractor. So of course this is a 32 horsepower Kubota and it doesn't come with the forks, but it does come with the bucket. The loader obviously is gonna go with it. The only tear on the seat is this little teeny tiny scratch and that's it. Seat's in amazing shape. Everything else is in really, really great shape. All the stickers are on here and uh, everything's good. It's a four wheel drive, of course. I think it's got 990 hours on it. So not, a, not even a thousand hours on it. And this is a pre-emissions tractor. So you don't have any of the emission stuff, the DEF, the DPF, any of that crap. Uh, none of that stuff on here. It's got the quick attach three point stuff. And it also comes with a Land Pride 72 inch brush hog and a, I think it's a 60 inch rototiller for the back. It's also Land Pride. So if you guys are interested in this, 
His asking price, again, this is asking or best offer, so don't take these prices and go, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. You know, it's like, if you're interested and you know what it's worth, shoot an offer. His asking for the kit, the loader in the bucket, tractor, tiller, and the bush hog, I'll show you that stuff in a minute, 20,000 or best offer. Never had an issue with it, just starts and drives amazingly. Here we're getting to something that's a little bit more on the classic end. I'm in terms of guys that just love old John Deere stuff. This is a John Deere 4320 diesel. This tractor he's asking $18,500 for. This one, other than dust, it's very, very, very clean. There's no giant dents or rust or anything. Um, there's a little bit of crinkling on this one little panel here, but you know, off standing a couple feet away, you hardly notice that stuff. There's some real, real small paint chips and stuff around some of these little seams, just some little tiny spots where it's kind of worn off. Nothing bad. The front tires could probably use replacing. The rears are new within the last couple years. You can see how nice the tread is. It's even still got this extra little lip around the top with the numbers on it. I mean, the tires are hardly used. Look around the back of the tractor here. You can see what you're working with here. For guys that know their tractors and what they're looking for on the back end of the tractor, there you go. None of the paint's chipped off this stuff. This stuff is all in really good shape. Everything is really nice, just dusty. See, I think, I thought the seat was in really good shape. I can't remember. It's a, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. It's not ripped up or anything. In this tractor, I believe it was overhauled probably less than 200 hours ago, I would guess. Because I remember him talking about paying a fortune to get the thing overhauled. And he said that pretty much since he got it overhauled, it just runs awesome. It leaks a little oil, you know, what John Deere doesn't leak a little oil, but I think it starts up really nice. So if you want a beautiful John Deere 4320 diesel, this tractor, $18,500 is what he's asking for it. Again, send him a message if you're interested. I will put some information in the description below if you want to get in contact with my dad. I'll put his Instagram right here if you want to send him an Instagram message. And I'll leave an email down in the description below that you can contact regarding this. And just put interested in farm equipment in the subject line of the email or in the message. Put that in the top of your message wherever you send it. And then of course let him know what piece of equipment you're wanting to look at or purchase and then send him an offer. Now keep in mind, if you're not serious and you don't have cash ready or you don't have a check ready that's certified from a bank, don't message him. He doesn't have time for that kind of stuff. He doesn't have time to go through hundreds of messages of people that are like, hey, can I just come look at your stuff and drive it around? If you've got cash or a certified check that's ready to go, that's that's great. Get in contact with him. He's looking to sell some stuff, but otherwise don't message him if you're not serious at all. Now the next piece of equipment, this is a Ford backhoe. I don't even know the year. I honestly could not tell you. Um, I know it's got new tubes in the rear tires, new tubes in the fronts, I believe too. Um, he just put some new hydraulic hoses on it on the rear so that the backhoe doesn't have any fluids, hydraulic fluids leaking out of the rear hoses. So these are all, these are all brand new. Uh, everything works on this tractor as far as I know, this backhoe. I thought it had a power steering fluid leak, but that was the only thing I could possibly think of that was, you know, wrong with this thing. We bought this to dig that pond over there. And I think we put about, and I want to say maybe 200 hours on this thing since we've owned it. Um, I don't know the actual hours like total. I don't know if it accurately still reads that or not, but all I know is every time we've ever gone to fire this thing up, on a dime, fires right up. And I think he's asking 7,500 for this. It, it is diesel. It's a diesel Ford backhoe. I don't think we've ever really had any issues with this thing. We bought it off a family member that bought it new a long, long time ago. And uh, basically he bought it to dig a pond. And then that was it. And we bought it off him to dig a pond years later after he bought it. And I don't know if this is an 80s model 70s model, 90s, I really couldn't tell you. If you guys know your backhoes, you'll know probably what year year range that this thing was built. Um, 
The thing works great though. Fires right up on a dime. Operated great. Bucket always worked great. Backhoe always worked great. So if you're interested in this, 7,500 or best offer. The next piece, he did not put a price on this, but he is wanting to sell this after he's done greeting out this last bit of dirt. He's been working the ground back here, getting this all nice and graded out. You can see how nice and flush he's cutting the ground here to dump his gravel. Um, I think he's got it at about eight to 10 inches right now to dump his, his big heavy stone. He's gonna have some parking back here along the back with the back door opened up here so you can have a pull through like a big horseshoe shape in the front door out this one. I don't know what he's gonna ask for this. It's a case 550. I really don't remember the year of it, honestly, either. Uh, all I know is he paid, I wanna say, he paid 40 grand for this when he bought it, or very, very close to it. That was probably five years ago, six years ago. This thing, again, I'm not gonna start up every piece of equipment because I don't wanna start them up cold and then just turn them off. Uh, this has always started up great. You guys saw the, oh, uh, will it start after, you know, two years of sitting? And we literally just turned the key and the thing just fired up instantly. And he's been using it for the last couple weeks, not skipping a beat. I mean, the thing just runs and drives amazing. So if you guys are interested in a Case 550 dozer, he was considering just trading this in on a new Bobcat skid steer, but he would definitely be open to offers on this as well. Uh, but it's gotta be worthwhile. He's probably put 400-ish hours on it at most since he's bought it. If you're gonna make an offer, it's gotta be in the ballpark. Um, for him to consider it. When I say ballpark, I'm not talking it's gotta be 40 on the dot, but it's probably gotta be in that range. Serious offers only, serious inquires only. And as you can see, the thing does a really freaking good job at grading dirt. He freaking loves that bulldozer, but he just, other than a couple times here and there, he just doesn't use it enough to justify keeping it. Last but not least, manure spreader. Don't know much about these, not really my specialty. He's used this many, many times. Not as many times as most of you that actually work on major farm operations, I'm sure, but he's used this a lot of times. Never had any issues with it. Things always worked really, really well. And I wanna say he's asking 6,500, I think is what he told me for this. And uh, I think he paid 8,500 bucks when he bought it. I think that was, hmm, I wanna say five years ago now. He does have cows now though. So doesn't really need to sell it because he'll probably use it again. You know, he's just wanting to sell a bunch of stuff and replace it with some newer stuff. But this stuff all works great. My dad takes really good care of his stuff. He greases all the Zerks and everything all the time um, on all of his equipment. So everything's never has any issues. This doesn't have any problems whatsoever either. Uh, just wanting to sell it and upgrade it to something different. He does not need to sell anything. He told me to let you guys know that he does not need to sell any of this stuff. The only reason he's even selling it is to buy new equipment. <laughs> it's not to, it's not to like, you know, dump all this because he needs the money real bad. He doesn't need the money for it. everything that's sitting around here is all paid off. The only reason he's selling it is because he's wanting to buy a bigger Kubota tractor that's in between the size of his 4320 and his 32 horse Kubota, but he just wants to get something that's like in the in-between size around 70, 75 horse versus what he's got now because he uses his orange tractor way more than he does the 4320. So he figures if I'm gonna use that tractor way more, I might as well have a tractor that meets all of my needs versus only most of my needs instead of having a tractor that almost meets all of his needs and a bigger tractor that can't because it doesn't have a loader, it's not four wheel drive, some certain things that he needs for what he does with his tractors. And then selling the backhoe and the bulldozers because he wants to get a, a new Bobcat skid loader. That's the only reason he's selling that as well. And then the trailer, he's only selling it because he doesn't use it. He's probably got, oh shoot, I want to say maybe 3,000 miles of wear on that thing. Not that much. He's just selling that because it just sits there and he uses it as a saw table. And he's just kind of decided that a $10,000 saw table is just not necessary when he could just sell that and buy a trailer, maybe like my car hauler, for when he's got to haul a small load of bales, tractor, something along the lines of that, something that he needs that size of trailer for, but he doesn't need anything crazy. That's really the only reason why he's selling the gooseneck, just because it's probably twice the size of the trailer that he realistically needs day to day, week to week. He also is putting the first gen for sale. The white first gen that he just got finished not long ago. Again, he's got a 392 scat pack. He's got the King Ranch. He's got Nasty Red. He's got the white first gen. He just doesn't need them all. And he figures that's probably the only truck that 
he'd sell just because it's a cool classical truck, but realistically, if there's a bad winter storm and he's gotta drive back and forth to work, he doesn't wanna drive that truck. He'd rather drive his King Ranch just because he doesn't feel as bad driving it if it's you know real bad weather, it's more comfortable. It's just more practical for him day to day if he's got to do it. And he's already put so much money into the King Ranch, first gen too, but the King Ranch to be more comfortable day to day that he would just rather keep that for those occasions where he needs to drive that over his muscle car. So for the first gen, I think he was asking $22,000 or best offer. Keep that in mind. If you're gonna message him about the first gen, he's wanting 22 grand for it. That truck's only got 86,000 miles on it. It's a four wheel drive. No transmission problems, no running issues, nothing. I mean, the trucks, I don't know how much more picky you could get. The truck's in really, really good shape. So again, guys, here's his Instagram right here. I'll put an email maybe in the description below. You can contact. Remember, put subject line, interest in farm equipment, and then at, right underneath of that, at the beginning of your email, or the beginning of your message you're sending him, let him know what piece it is right away, and then discuss what you're wanting to make in terms of offers. And again, if you're not serious, if you if you don't have the cash ready, don't message him. I know this video was a little bit different, um, but I told him that I would do it to kind of help him dump some of his stuff here before the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that if you want to enter to win our blue first gen that we're giving away, information in the description below. Essentially go to the store, pick out some items, check out, and you're automatically entered to win the blue first gen plus $5,000 cash. If you haven't done that yet, get to it. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.